Okay. Um, I'm assuming that it's, I can be here on the stream. Uh, um, so we have a race between Lustrous and Yori Wessels. Um, Lustrous has a 101.28 and Yori has a 102.30, so about a minute difference. Uh, we'll see how, how the race goes. Should be interesting. Round one of the Ski Seed Run Tournament. Well, it looks as though the runners are setting up BSCA. Should get started soon. Okay, it looks like they're about to get started. Doing the countdown in the as we speak. There's there's just looks like a bit of a uh, stream delay discrepancy, but that should be a uh, fix. I'm just getting started, yeah. Causing Lustrous' stream to line it up, and... And we're off. Be an interesting race. Kingdom should be pretty similar. In two runners, we'll see how that goes. Oh. Yeah, good luck to both runners. Like they're uh, both on digital. Both doing the spin town after the bridge. Apps look pretty similar so far, just minor discrepancies in movements, but um, expected uh, two runners of this level. if they both go for left side or not. Both going for the um the middle path for the end of the frog room. Like Lustrous is going for vault left side and Yori is going for right side. Like a 219. Wait, is that a 219 from Lustrous? That's pretty good. And Yori with a 227, messing up the topper fight a bit. It's like Yori is having some stick drift. Yeah, Lustrous had a pretty nice cap. You're already doing uh, decently, but losing quite a bit in the top fight. Oh, it might have been a low 220 cap, actually. Still so, very good. Now we're in Cascade. I would be very surprised if we saw either of these runners doing TSS. I most likely uh, will be seeing them going for. Um, but you never know. I, it would be pretty surprising because um, I I haven't seen either of these runners do DSS and runs uh, that I know of, and especially um, with a race that that should be decently close, it's probably not a good idea. But we'll see. 
Yep. Illustrious going for Dino Skip. Should see Yori do the same. No. Yeah. Only people we've seen do um, DSS in this tournament are Dansa and Lucid, I believe. And we did see Dasset go for it in the race against Lucid and get it. Might be someone else I'm, I'm missing, but those are the only people that I know of. Both getting Rhino Skip fine. I, I almost said that before Yori actually got Dino Skip. It was looking good, but then I was like, uh, I mean, I guess if he dived out of it earlier, it's possible you can miss him, so I just wait until I. Because, you know. Or if he, um, hit that stupid spot. Oh, Lustrous mistiming that, unfortunately. That might be making them pretty similar at this point. Oh, yeah, now. That kind of like caught Yori up almost completely with that um, messed up last phase from Lustrous. Yeah, I saw the acid got it in the race. I think you were commenting, Reezy. Yeah, it's like, what, 1.5 difference or something like that now? Because of that third phase. Adam Bird can sometimes suck. That, I think he lost more, but like I think it, it might lose like at least a, a good five seconds missing that base. I see them going for a top of high clip. Yeah, both going for that. Chest clip I believe only saves time if you like do like a fast setup and it's not very much. But it is time save, just very minor. I didn't- I, I didn't actually see when they glow, but we'll see what their exit is in a second. I, I just wasn't look- I, I wasn't looking at their timers, I mean. Uh, some sort of low 4, 5-4x, yeah. Lustrous with a 5-42 and Yori with a 5-43, so pretty decent exits. The Lustrous is, um, also was minus 12.5, I believe. Yeah, he's definitely good by quite a bit. And I think Yoris was like 7 something. So, yeah, they both should be fine for DSTA. Oh, let's just messing up that, um, ending on the rail a bit, but not, nothing too bad. Still getting the bird fine. And Yori also getting the bird. We're pretty close together right now. Only a few seconds, maybe? Mustard is grabbing the Seed Moon as Yori misses it a bit, but gets it eventually. That. Going, now, now Lustrous is going over to the Dune Moon. Still very close. No, no, no big differences in DSCA. Mm -hmm. In terms of time between the two. That was a nice roll cancel. Should we see Dram? Works. I, I don't 
I, I know I know about the trick of Dream, but I don't like know how to tell if it's gonna work based on like off throw angle because like I've honestly never gotten it myself, but Uh, I just like to wait until after <laughs> I see if it works or not to say anything. Oh, I I wasn't looking, but it did. Did Lustrous go for a single bill and then not and not make it? Because I I was looking at Yori's uh, dram movement for a second and I didn't notice. Now Yori is ahead. Yeah, I'm assuming it was single bill because of where he fell. And now Yori might, is about the same on a head as the Illustrious was beforehand, maybe. Still not too far apart, though. The single will, yeah. That makes sense. No. Oh! Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't think he can make it. Oh, that really sucks. That's a big time loss. Oh my gosh. That really sucks. Missing Jaxi skip. I, I can only imagine how upset he must be from that. It's like... One of those things that's like really easy, but if you mess it up, it's just real. It really sucks. Um. Uh, okay. We'll see how much the time difference is now. After sand. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone miss Jaxi skip and actually make it back. I'm sure you can, but kind of like when that happens, you're like, oh no. Especially in a race that. I've, I've done it, in, not in, like in anything like a speed speedrun race, but I've done it in races before when I'm like not gonna like stop the race or anything. And it, it in a situation like this, it's even worse going for like um, wanting and needing to win the race to move on. Losing that much time in sand because of Jaxi skip is not fun. Okay, Yori with a 1039. It must be something like at least like. 40 something seconds, we'll see. Let me think. What sort of exit would this be? Oh, uh, that would be uh, maybe like a 10, uh, 11.25. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a lot of time. That's 46 second difference now. Not anything that can't be come back, back from, though. Definitely. Yeah, it's not a, over a minute difference. It's 40, 46 seconds. Out of sand. Yeah, missing Jaxi skip though just loses so much, unfortunately. Yeah, still a semi close race. We can see anything happen. I mean, Lustrous's PB is over a minute faster than Yori's. Um. Anything can happen. There's so many more kingdoms left to go. Oh yeah, and I I didn't I don't think I mentioned but it looks like Yori is not going for late. But... It'd be uh, I don't know. We probably won't see Lustrous going for another. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, that sucks. I was gonna say it doesn't look like it because he did a camera minute right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The game just does not like him right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that that's unfortunate. That is like, honestly, like for me, I don't even like trying to do that. I, I just like go around, hit the flower, go up and grab it because that that zipper just like hates you when you try to get in it from back down there. It just like it just is stupid. Yeah, it looks like Lusters is also going for no late clip. And oh, did I miss something that happened to Yori? It looks like he's getting a 309 lake. I must have missed something. I must have missed something that ha happened to Yori. Did he mess up Rango or something? Or is it something else? Because it's a 310 late 309 or something like that. 
don't know. I was too focused on seeing lust what ha happened to Lustrous right there. Wait. Huh. Wait, no, I'm that's not a 309, like what am I talking about? I, I I'm so stupid. Never mind. That's a 259 late. I I must have been looking at the wrong time. Okay, I'm dumb. Never mind. I I must have saw his moon grab and thought Rango kill, cause that's probably like about a 10 second difference. But the thing is that there's almost a minute difference now between the two, cause of that unfortunate uh, zipper stuff from Lustrous. Just a bit too close to the zipper, and it just wouldn't come in, and then trying to get back up. But then we're going into wooded, and anything can happen in wooded, so we'll see. Anything can happen in any kingdom. It's not, it's still not like an insanely big difference, like minutes or anything, just about a minute or so. But we see a 1338 exit from Yori. What is this from Lustrous? Yeah, we have 56 second difference right now. A 56 second difference. Looks like Yori is going for tree route. Oh, messing up that a bit, but finally getting up. As Lustrous is entering Wooded. Oh, now he missed the rabbit as well. That's like at least three seconds, I think. We'll see. Back it up well. Yeah, he backs it up well. It's kind of fuzzy. I can't really tell if that's good enough or not. No, it's, the, the screen share is getting a bit fuzzy right now, so I couldn't really tell if the nut clip was fine, but unfortunately, you already missed nut clip. This okay, is fine. Going for the backup route. Or, uh, Luster is also going for tree route. Oh, Yori's having some issues with ramp. He's good now. So. We'll see if Luster is getting up. Chair's going a bit fuzzy again. Let's see. I can't tell if it's kind of fuzzy on his screen. Yeah, he's fine. Kind of breaking up a bit. Oh, it looks fine on the stream. I don't know. It must be just be me. Having some trouble with the, uh, grabbing that moon, but he's okay. Yeah. Should be saving him some time over Yori because he does not have to get this Brana. Soon. Yori does. Still a, a decent difference as of now, but that did see, save him a good maybe, I don't know, let's just maybe 20? Depends. We'll see. Now he's grabbing the story moon. Did he like, maybe, it looked like maybe he forgot for a second that he had to get that. Yeah, 20, I think, yeah. But, time, time loss from missing knuckle depends on the person really, but I think 20 might be around a good estimate. And Yori getting flower roads get moving fine. But, Right after this moon, it looks like Lustrous will be going for Flower Road Skip as well. As Yori is entering the tower. Only only one moon. Wait, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Looks like he messed up. Uh, okay, that lost him maybe like a decent amount. Oh my gosh. Really struggling, unfortunately, with this movement. 
Oh, that that really sucks. Does that send him back to the shop? Did he get the checkpoint? Oh, that's so unfortunate. I wasn't sure about that either, but doing that right there. Okay, he at least has the checkpoint. Now it looks like he might even be losing time to Yori and Wooded, possibly. Still, I don't know. We'll see when Wooded ends. I don't see the stream moving. Wait. For me, it show I'm on the stream right now, and it, it shows the stream fine, but I don't know. I'm also on a bit Oh, yeah. Wait. It, it's kind of like on a delay now. I'm on mobile, so I couldn't see it at first. Okay, well, currently, Lustrous is in the tower, and Yori is in um, flooded pipes. Oh, yeah. Yori messed up flooded pipes, taking damage, but gets up to the last minute with damage. Well, I mean, Yori only has a 1 minute slower PB. So I, I don't think it's that crazy to see someone with only a 1 minute slower PB in the lead. But, uh, I mean, it is true that the, that Lustrous did mess up a decent amount to, as well. But, I mean, like, that, that happens in races, right? Yeah, depends on a lot of factors. Not a, not a very good wooded for Yori. I think that's a 608 for him, but it's still a 1946 exit. We'll see. Lustrous gets. Yeah, it might have been a lot closer if it wasn't for uh, Lustrous messing up that flower skip, flower rug skip movement, unfortunately. We'll see what the difference is now. You know what? I okay. So Lustrous gets a twenty thirty five. So he actually saved a bit of time over Yori getting nut clip, but dying unfortunately after Pot Road Skip. Forty nine second difference right now. I just realized why I think some people may not get the um the checkpoint in um wooded right there. Makes sense to go for a race, but it does actually um mess up your splits if you don't normally get it. If you don't do Lake Clip, that is. If you do do Lake Clip, that doesn't matter. Because you'll get the text when morphing to the Odyssey at the end. Okay, Yori with a... What's the cloud exit? 2117. As Luster is a starting cloud. I mean, that would be only if you were... Oh, Luster is messing up the fast side as well. Unfortunate. Oh wait, um, looks like Yori is having some trouble with Mean Tree. In the stream, it looks like you. Oh wait, no, never mind. It's fine. Luster is hitting the last fast attack line. Now the difference is a bit over a minute, unfortunately. Wait, what happened? Wait, what happened? Uh, Yori just had. Okay, yeah, that, it's just a stream delay. Yori just ha had some trouble with Mew Tree, but he's okay. For a second, I thought I missed something, but... Okay, Luster is entering the loss now. Okay, Yori not going for cage triple. Makes sense. It doesn't save very much time, and... Could be pretty risky in, in a tournament. 
back that up, you'd have to go all the way back up. Especially if you already hit the cage, it'd be pretty uh, weird to try to. You'd have to do some some slow stuff even to back it up before you die. Okay. Gory with a twenty three thirty nine lost exit. See how the rest of Lost goes for Lustrous as Yori is entering Night Metro. Luster is also not going for cage triple. Makes sense. Fortunately, Bonk's on that. Here's the last moon find then. Okay. There's about a one minute difference between the two right now. Still a decent amount, but nothing they can't change throughout the course of the run. There's still so many more things to do at this point. Okay, looks like Yori didn't get a very good place for Goomba to be, so it just doesn't try to attempt something on it after doing the roll boost, which we would normally expect some of the, a person to then bounce on the Goomba. But the boom was way far right, so it makes sense just to spin pound and go up. Avoid potential damage from the Goomba. And now Luster is starting out Night Metro while Yori is finishing up City Hall. Yori getting City Hall to fine. Nice roll cancel around the corner from Yori going up to the Mecha Wiggler fight. Yeah. Okay, starting out the Mecha Wiggler fight. This Lustrous is entering City Hall, taking on Fortunate Bonk right there. Just a bit too close to the wall. Cycle Bless RNG, yeah. Plus NRG, yeah, I see. Is that not an email anymore? Uh, bless RNG. I don't know what NRG means, but. Oh, that sucks. Stupid hitboxes. Okay, Lustrous is entering the all. If Luster doesn't get a two cycle, this can catch him up a decent bit. Not like, not even close to all the way, but uh, still a decent bit. You might also be maybe like 30 something seconds behind if you can two cycle this. Okay, for a second I was scared, like, okay. For a second I was scared if, if Yori didn't hit that fireball, he might have actually died and put Lustrous in the lead instantly. That would really suck if that happened. He was on one health and that fireball is coming right for him, but unfortunately he... Oh, and it looks like Lustrous' screen is also frozen. We don't know if he, um... That's in the two cycle or not. Frozen at 2704. Time for Lustrous. Oh, his... Looks like his stream might be dead. Sorry, his internet is- he's saying his internet is horrible. Okay. Well, it looks like there's- he- I'm assuming he two-cycled then if he ha is getting a 28 2801 exit when Lustrous- I mean, and Yori got a 2733. So there's only- there's less than 30 seconds now, wow. That's what a three-cycle does. But, um, Yori's still a decent, uh, 
more he's more than he was more than enough ahead to still be ahead despite getting a three cycle and slow third cycle. Now Yori's also messing up scoop clip unfortunately. Oh gets a second try, try at least. Yes, I am commentating the augers. Also having some trouble getting onto this auger. Busters is frozen as well. We don't know if he got scoop clip fine or not, unfortunately. Oh no, I see, I see, never mind. He the time was a bit unsync, so yo yo was just um that up, but it's like he is unfortunately screwing up scoop the That really sucks. Okay, he gets it. That that was probably a, a decent like 15 second time loss unfortunately. I, I personally really hate Scoop Clip, that's why I, I I probably won't be doing it anytime soon. It's just way too inconsistent for me. Very inconsistent. I just stick with RC card. It can be really annoying if you miss it. If, uh, it looks like Yori's going for the musician round. We'll see if Lust does the same or if he goes for board playing. He's going for board building. I wasn't sure. I mean, I've seen him do it in the tents recently, but I mean, uh, I wasn't sure if he was going to go for a or not. Oh, that sucks. Please don't. I was like, please don't, don't spin throw. Just please don't hit the, the heart. He's fine. Unfortunately, this floor building will be, I mean, like, this route will be losing him time, but I mean, at this point, obviously, he can't just, like, stop. That'd be stupid. He lost time from the slots, is what I mean. Not that he'd be losing time for going for the, the upgrade at this moment, because he would. But luckily, he didn't, um, like, have to repay for slots or anything. Okay, and gets the capture. Right. Oh, I mean, I don't think the difference is that that big now. I mean, it, it's actually. I mean, it's not as big as I would have thought considering all the stuff that happened to Lustrous and and Scoop Clip. Oh, uh, it's probably. It actually is probably still like thirty seconds. Actually, never mind. He's already at that ground pound moon, and Lost still has to go up the thing, so maybe still around 30 ish. We'll see it after Metro finish. Oh. And maybe you maybe messed, messed up a spin pound or something. Oh, and falling short on the moon. I hate when you mess up this moon. It's really stupid, actually. It, it's not like a common thing, but it's actually really dumb if you do. Okay, Yori with a 3207 exit, it looks like. Doesn't look like too good of a run for either of them. Yori is still ahead by a decent amount. I think going into this sub area, how long should it, it should be? It's definitely under a minute before you finish, unless you screw something up. I think. With money that there's so much delay that lost his lot in the metro, probably. Yeah, there's actually a the the, the difference is actually more now, a decent bit more now because of that day metro there's a 53 second difference i think I, okay yeah it should be 53 seconds you already having some trouble talking to toad because the hat hit him 33 flat from Lusterus. 
not the best pace for either of them. And throw RC is out the way there. I just, th I just, then I just, uh, not, I, I just roll cancel backwards, and like I almost always works. Cause like it, the roll canceling backwards, you won't like hit toad or anything. Kind of awkward to try to make it. Okay, having some trouble with the bridge, but not falling off or anything. And it looks like Yori will be going for Snowdrum. Didn't go to sh for shop yet. I accidentally did it once with an up throw RC. Oh, looks like Yori's going for the, uh, and he gets the, the moon clip. Honestly, almost every time that I up throw roll cancel, it's because I was attempting to, like, spin throw roll cancel and I accidentally got an up throw roll cancel. Like, I, I never intentionally up throw roll cancel. Yori getting the fast cycle in that room fine. I haven't seen, oh, it looks like. Luster's going for an interesting strat there, and messes it up. Backs it up decently okay. RC backwards makes you stop. Luster's also going for snow tram. Is that gonna clip? No, it's not. I'm not good at telling if those are gonna clip from angles like that at least. I mean, I've only gotten that clip once, but I don't really understand the timing for it. Yori is in the Goomba room while Lustrous is in the Blowy Joey room. I sometimes have called this the Blowy Noly room, but that's not what that is. That's the name of a trick. Done in categories like oh my oh Luxurious is oh these the spinies are stupid. Boy no is a trick done in categories like darker and like all post game flags and stuff. He's getting testing as well to Typhoon, okay. Oh, okay. Um, so it looks like they're about a sub area apart right now. The Goomba Room sub area apart a bit more than that, actually. Yori is having some trouble getting the shop and finally getting in. Yori is around some drum by now. Go. Snow drum goes for Yori. And no spoilers. Moss is just having a lot of trouble and. A lot of things in this race, unfortunately. Might be, um, I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people have, uh, had similar experiences where, like, if you, like, are in a bad run and keep messing things up, it's just easy to just continue to keep messing things up, unfortunately. You're already getting Snowdrum fine. Like, a situation where you just, like, keep screwing things up, unfortunately, and just the, mind the mindset just allows you to keep doing that. Might just be a bunch of dumb stuff that happens, I don't know. But Lustrous is going shop and then doing Snow Dream soon as well. What is the exit for Yori? 3658. Sorry, Steve, that does not count as spoiling. Oh, I mean, if, if you, you are happy that it doesn't count as spoiling, then yes, it does count as spoiling, unfortunately. Because you're happy about it, so sorry. Sorry, Steve. The Odyssey Wiz, even though that's not gonna be your name anymore. Okay, Foster is going for a homing half throw. Snowdram and getting it fine. Back to about a minute difference. I mean, we were already almost there last time. It's a 58 second difference now. It was like. 53 last time. Yeah. I don't know. So, some people find the homing cap throw easier, the triple throw easier, the normal easier. I've only, I mean, I don't do snow jam, but the only way I've personally been able to do it is just the normal way. But then again, I've only done it five times. It, 
it just depends on whatever works for you although i'm pretty sure the, the fastest one is just the normal way but if, if you're more consistent in another way then why not right Major just sean's initials yeah it is Breezy doesn't do uh, snow jam either some niche Also, just getting a um, Aaron a Sharani down spine there. Oh, is that good with that? Yeah, that's what SMH stands for. My name is actually Sean Michael Hartman, so that's why, like, my initials are actually SMH. Like, I didn't even put the two together until I was like 10 or something. That my initials were also like an acronym for shaking my head. <laughs> Looks like Yori will be attempting uh, fish clip now. I think on the last one of the other streams, I said that it's like a 0.5 frame window. I think like it just depends on like. A runner. Some runners it's a 0.5 frame, some runners it's a 50 frame, and some runners it's like a 0.2 frame. So like it just depends on like what type of runner you are. Like if you're a if you're a, a fast runner or like a good movement runner or like an inconsistent runner, it depends. Yori gets a time. 0.1 frame window. Yeah, some people have that as well. Yeah, he got it. I mean, there's always always the chance that that the person that gets it just might have the 50 frame window, but that's not very common. Most people don't get the 50 frame window. So, Yori with the 40-23 seaside exit. Lustrous will not be attempting fish clip. I feel like you have a 50 frame window. That's pretty lucky, uh, Dorito. No, I think that was actually a 40-22. Like, Lost tried to turn the fish around. Okay. Didn't fully turn around, but it works. SMH equals Sean Michael Hartman, the 8. Yeah, totally. The 8. Yeah, my dad and, and like, his dad and his dad, like, all, like, all have the same name as me, totally. Or mom, I mean, like, they, they could also be named Sean, I guess, if you want. Oh, we're already messing up salt triple a bit, unfortunately. That'd be good. Not sure about that. Yeah, he he wasn't sure about it either. Then yeah. I didn't see lost exit, but it looks like. Still around a 50-ish second difference. Okay, Yori bonking, but luckily not falling into the lava to cause any more time loss. Thanks. Also going for salt triple, but his looks fine. And Yori kills Spirit at 41.57. I'll, I'll see when Lost kills Spirit and see what the difference is there. Yahoo! Remove the Sean is still a name. Yeah. My dad's name is actually Michael Sean Hartman. Like... It just like my parents just decided to like switch the person middle name. Semi interesting, I guess. I mean, like I could have just been my dad's name a second, but they didn't want that. I don't. I mean, it's not. I, I'm sure it's not that difficult to find out my name or my dad's name, like on the internet. It's like. Probably not that hard, but okay. Like, you could just, like, 
maybe not like my full name, but you just like look me up on Facebook and then look at mutual friends and figure it out pretty easily, maybe. I don't know. Or just the internet. Just on, on Google. <laughs> Sean's family, seven generations back to commentators. Also, I forgot to look at the, forgot to look at Lust, uh, Spirko. Oh, not enough space, video space. Didn't see what happened right there, but something good. No, doesn't look like any damage though. Yeah, totally. I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, like, if- Oh, that- that's unfortunate. Yori falling in the lava. I was saying, like, if you look up, like, my name, you could probably find- I don't know, like, there's information of everybody on the internet. <laughs> you just- you know those sites, you just look up someone's name and it'll say, yeah, this is a 44-year-old in whatever place, whatever, I don't know. There's, like, weird stuff like that. Internet has too much stuff on on it of people. Okay, you're getting that fling all the way up there. Pretty nice. And Peter forgot to rush race. Seven dads will be disappointed. Okay. Well, I guess I guess we're about a fourth room apart right now. Yori also getting the lava bounce there. Fine. I'm both getting the jump over. I honestly have no idea how people do that. I've gotten that once ever. I mean, I, I know you're supposed to fling and like hold it in a certain direction, and it just doesn't work. I mean, luckily it's a very minor time save, but I just don't. It's probably not worth going for at like a 106. Okay. Getting the Jutting Craig moon fine as Yori's grabbing the Soaring Moon. Just a knuckle miss, yeah. Oh, he also recycled though. Those are the two main things that happened. 608 wooded and a recycle. Pretty like slow recycle. We lost quite a bit in my Metro. Lustrous, unfortunately, um, taking damage from that sliny. It ended up being really close, yeah. Actually, a, quite a bit closer out of near the end of luncheon than it was, um, like snow and seaside. We'll see based on their their luncheon exits what the difference is, but like, I mean, there's also Bowser's left, and Bowser's is, as a kingdom where a lot can happen, so. It's good. Okay. Yeah. Getting an unfortunate rainbow stern, but he still makes it up. Oh, I didn't look at Yori's moon grab, but um, we'll see. Fine. All I can do is look at Lost moon grab and then see what his exit should be, and then by then Yori should be globing almost at least. Be minus thirteen, and then add a minute. That's the exit. So that should be around a um. Like a 47, 43 ish. And I didn't see what Yorg will, but he's probably a good 30 seconds ahead, maybe ish. Maybe a bit less. Give the runner who you don't want to win the commentator's curse easy clap. I don't, I feel like that's, I don't want to choose a runner not to win. That's kind of unfair, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it's actually less than 30 seconds it should be right now. That was a 47, 16, and Lustrous with a 47, 43. That's down to 27 seconds. It was quite a bit more out of out of snow. It's like what, like 58, unless I'm mistaken. Mech besides this race. I mean, I don't even know if it's Mech alone. Cause um, it's so possible for Yori to say like miss something, fall off Mech or something, and still win. I mean, it's not as I'm not necessarily gonna decide the race, but it will be a it could be a big factor, of course. Yeah. 
I, I think maybe Bowser's in general can, it might be like a big dis deciding factor in, in this race. Because Bowser's is a kingdom where you can lose a lot of time. When you get a good Bowser's, it feels pretty nice, but when you when you screw up Bowser's, it, it's really not fun. And you also can lose a lot of time. Especially Mech can lose you a lot of time. Like just just like stupid stuff pop happening, like not landing back on for whatever reason, because like you missed your cap or some dumb weird stuff happens, or you mess up the leg climb, or I don't know if both of them do target acquired or it, say if they like mess up target acquired. A bunch of stuff can happen in Mech. I mean, you, you might not, you may not be seeing this with this race because I'm I'm sure they're they're well practiced on Mech, but I mean. Anything can happen in Mech at any level. Right now we're seeing the, the Ruin fight. It looks like Yori got the hint code. I'm not sure if Lustrous did. I didn't see, but I'm, I'm actually not sure. Did anybody in chat know if Lustrous got the, the hint code or not? Sponsors? Yeah. Oh yeah, well, the real the real memes is one of the sponsors. That's why he's mentioning sponsors right now. So you have to go check out the real memes on Snapchat, on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, on um, on on Twitter, on on Discord, on Google Hangouts, on Skype, on everything. I like how people still think target acquired is hard. I think it's easier than the normal strat. I mean, I don't know. I, I think, at least in, with me in Target Acquired, I mean, I also have a 106, but when I do Target Acquired, like, half of the time, I just get, like, some, like, I just mess up the dives, like, for whatever reason, just, like, don't dive, like, I just, like, chaos dive or some weird crap, just trying to go too fast, or, like, don't spin pound, I don't know what it is, but I, I kind of suck with that. Um... But recently I found like a, a backup, like a thing for not doing card acquired that actually works decently well. Where I just like spin, while the, while the mech is spinning, I, I wait till after the spin, I just spin, and then right when it's done spinning, I just like spin pound right on Skewer, and I've been pretty consistent at that at least, because I, I was never consistent at anything for that hit. I don't, I don't have Snapchat either, I'm just saying a bunch of crap. I mean, actually, I think I technically do have Snapchat, but I have never used it before since I was like 11. But I only used it like once, and then like I stopped using it because I thought it was boring. I was naming a bunch of random social media platforms that I, I could think of. Well, I didn't pay attention to Yori's exit, but Lusters has a 5103 or 2 ish. But um, I think we could determine based on this first wire grab. Usually in the high ish 30s, maybe they would grab it. So I think there's maybe about um, that's in the highest 30s. There's there's still probably, I mean, what are we talking about? It, the ruin time lock save is probably not that big of a deal, but it, it's still around the similar time difference between um, um, they had in, in lunch, and, and it looks like Lustrous is going for Pokeo Jam. And Yuri is not. So there's also that difference there. We might look like a bit closer than it actually is. I mean, a bit farther apart than it actually is. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I looked away for a second. I, I, I'm not sure if he messed up the ogre or not. Maybe. Get your free bag of pita chips at stacys.com slash speedy speedrun. Also, um, since, um, the real memes is a partner, uh, you need to, um, you need to donate to him on, uh, patreon.com, and you'll get exclusive, uh, perks if you donate to him. 
Okay, Luster is having some. Oh, Luster is having a lot of trouble with shards, unfortunately. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> Only fans, okay. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Need to. That check mark next to your name. Rio. Okay, Yori is going into the brutal fights. We'll see what he chooses first. That may be a race decider. Okay, well, he chooses Harry at first, so he will be getting a bit of a time save, but we'll see. Depending on what Lust does, that might not make a difference. Okay, goes. Okay, so Lustrous. Let's see. I, I'm be guessing. He, it, it looks like he is going for Bowser Jam. Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. That, that. Having a lot of trouble with this section of Bowser's, but fortunately not dying because he homed in on the wire. I mean, I've honestly never tried Bowser Dram. Also, I just feel like, sort of thing like what just happened with him there, where it's kind of scary in terms of if you don't fully... It, it just looks like one of those things, like, if you aren't to fully turn your dive in the right direction, it's kind of scary, and I don't know. I already don't fully turn my dive uh, on the Crate Moon and Luncheon and, like, Bonk and stuff like that. Okay, looks like Yori is finishing up the Brutal Fights as Lustrous is in the Harriet fight. Like Odyssey. And what are what are Odyssey's are Odyssey what what else should Odyssey streamers do like challenge runs or something? I mean, speed run. I mean, I don't know. Speed runs are pretty interesting in my opinion. I mean, I guess probably on a lot of the people in the stream because they're watching a speed run race right now. And now Yori is going for crates. Balloon worlds. I've never, I've honestly, I mean, I've played it, but like hardly at all. I, I've hardly at all played Balloon World. It just wasn't that fun, I don't know. Okay, Lustrous. That looked a bit close with the topper hat, but still landing on the proper hat. Yori having some trouble capturing the Pokeo, but gets it. New to the Mar Mario community. Yeah. I mean, the game's been around for a good two and a half years. It makes sense, like, you won't you won't see a ton of people just, like, streaming their casual playthroughs. Because there, there obviously will be always people streaming casual playthroughs of the game, but it's obviously not going to be nearly as much as it was, like, two and a half years ago, right? And welcome as well. It looks like Yori was taking that like oh oh that really sucks. He's not is he gonna it's gonna be thrown off. Okay, but he can make it back on. Oh is is this even is he gonna be good? Okay, no. Well he at least gets back on, fortunately. Yeah, mo more people do stream. Uh, speedruns of the game they catch well, I would say. I mean, I see people streaming casual, like, all the time, but it's like, uh, I don't remember by the people that are streaming speedruns. I mean, I've stream streamed casual stuff of this game before, too. Like, as a, I was a speedrunner before I did that, but I did- Oh! Yori falling off after target acquired. Oh, going for target acquired. Looks like Lust is also messing with the leg. Oh, that sucks. Both runners are having trouble with Ned. Okay, wait, he gets back on fast enough. If, if Yori can hit Spear right now, there's still he'll still be a decent bit ahead. He's still, yeah, he's still a decent bit ahead. We'll see when Bless finishes it. We're gonna acquire a few months of something, yeah. It was kind of breaking up when I saw him doing it, so I couldn't tell for sure. 
but um maybe like positioning or like speed of dives or something i don't know or maybe just messing up the spin pound there's like a lot of things that could go wrong i guess okay lost gets it there's still a 30 second difference though yeah, maybe maybe the camera still 30 seconds so um yori still has a, a decent lead here Looks like some sort of 105 pace for Yori and, and Lust, just like higher 105 maybe for Lust. Wait, I don't think about one I don't think it's 105 pace for Lust actually, maybe not. Wait, I'm trying to think. No, no, no it, it should still be 105 pace. I'm I'm thinking weekly. I was adding a minute instead of 30. What am I talking about? It still should be 105 pace for Lust. As long as Yori has a good moon, he's got a free moon win, yeah. Still, like, something like dying in the 2D section, though, could completely, like, uh, shift the race. It's not 104. Wait. Oh, no, I'm so stupid. What am I talking about? It's obviously 104 something pace. Okay, I'm done. I, I don't know how I can't math. I just added 5 minutes to 59, and I got 105. How does... Okay, I'm also a math major at in college, so like math major cannot do fifty-nine plus five. <laughs> nice. So yeah. 104 pace ish for both. Maybe a bit of a tighter 104 pace for Lust Risk, but still 104 pace, I think. Yeah, nice math. <laughs> Y Yori does definitely have a, a decent lead, but it's not over until he shoots out of the wire. Still, there, Lust still has a chance, but um, y Yori would have to mess up. So like, if Yori doesn't mess up Moon too badly, he has it in the bag. But obviously, stuff can happen. I don't think it'd be pointless to stream a casual playthrough. There's a lot of people who have never seen this game before, and or never even, yeah, and they might just be interested in seeing you play for the first time. Maybe that would get them into it, too. Or maybe there's people who have played this game before and just be interested in seeing someone play for the first time to, like, help them relive the joy of playing the game for the first time as well. Who knows? I don't think there's anything pointless in it, though. Looks like Yori got the moon cave movement, moon skip movement fine. Okay, Lust also getting it fine. I've, I've actually... I've, I think I, I played Mario 64 for a very small amount of time when I was very little. My friend had, had the game and I played like a very little bit, but I didn't know what I was doing at all. Well, my friend had an N64. Because I was born in 2002, so like, there was still... The N64 was still a thing, but the GameCube was pretty much like out. At that time, the GameCube was like when I was really little. The GameCube was like the biggest new like we, I mean, a uh, Nintendo thing. But um, you know, like the first, the first like Mario thing I played was like Super Mario Party Four, and like then I got uh, like new Super Mario Bros on a DS the DS came out when I was like in first grade or something. It's like when I was like six. Okay, they're both in the fight. It looks like Yori is finishing up the fight as Lost is still in the middle of it. Yeah, definitely um, low to mid-ish 104 pace for Yori. Yeah, and SMS, when I, I was doing that, I, I mean, I, I have SMS, and I really suck at it. I, I have not even gotten close to beating it yet. I'm, uh, I'm just really bad. Um, The triple jumps are kind of weird there, like, for timing, at least. And now Lust finishing up. Looks like some sort of high 104 pace, but yeah, like... If Yori can get past 2D, I think there's a, a very high chance he, he has has in the back 
because it's possible to like die in pillars or something, but that's pretty unlikely. Okay, getting 2D skip, fine. Entering pillars looks like uh one one oh four four or one oh four one x or two x space from Yori as Lust is entering the two D section. What's the record for fastest speed run of the game for um it's fifty eight eleven. Fifty eight minutes eleven seconds for any percent. Oh Lust dies in the two D section. I looked away for a second, but I'm assuming two D skip. That sucks. Yori is finishing up pillars. Okay, for a second the screen was a bit weird. I was like, okay, but he's good. Looks like a 104 2x from Yori. GG on Yori winning the race. What up, boys? Um, GG on winning the race. How do you think it went? Wait, I won? Oh, shit. Oh, did yeah, I? Shit. Yeah. Dude, after, like, uh, room, I saw how much, like, uh, Lost was behind me. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna focus on PM, not, uh, not see anything else. Yeah. And after, after I messed up Meg, I thought it's over. It's yeah. Over. He, he messed up Bowser's a decent bit, but, um, as well, so like you were still like a good thirty seconds ahead going into Moon. Oh, he died for the second time in in Escape. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, you were you were uh, you were still ahead of him going into Escape as well. Like you were it, going into Pillars as he went to 2D, then he died in 2D, then he t just died again in Pillars, unfortunately. Yeah, you had a d you have you've been ahead of him ever since. What? It's pretty much been since yeah, Sand you've been ahead. Right? Yeah, because yeah, he died on Jaxi Skip. I didn't know what happened there, but... Yeah. Yeah. What? How do you to think honest, the run went for you? Pretty fucking bad, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like, I missed Nut Flip, even though I looked fucking perfect. Yeah. Uh, Mech was just bad. I, like, missed position by, like, what, a few pixels? Yeah. Uh, what else went bad? Night Metro, the three cycle. Yeah. That's it looked like you almost you were about to like almost die like if you didn't hit that one fireball yeah, that come at you. Why, that's why I did it. Yeah. But like he he went over himself. I couldn't I could not get it. The last yeah. bubble. That was yeah. fucked. And luncheon was pretty terrible. Uh, that's about it, I guess. I mean, you still were able to win the race, fortunately, with yeah, the 104. Pretty, that's pretty good. Yeah, you were both. It looks like both of you were not uh, didn't have the best runs, but you just like did. You were just playing a decent bit better overall. Yeah. So GG on winning the race. Because Lus is finally finishing up. He unfortunately had two deaths in escape. This might be the worst. I've done in a race yet. Yeah. Oh, well. Which will be kind of ironic, but I, it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, and and, and I guess it's the uh, uh like assume like because Lost did as not good as he did. I guess it's um this might have been like a good race to get a 104.25. I guess. Yeah, definitely. Like in hindsight, maybe not going into it. You're, you're doing KFR. Yes. Yeah, Lust got a 107.22, but then reset right away because, I mean, it wasn't. Fair enough. Hey. Yeah. Oh, hello? How's it going? Yeah. Uh, how did the run go? I mean, we saw a lot of unfortunate things occur, ever, starting from like sand with yeah. Jaxi skip. Everything went downhill from sand. Yeah. Uh, did you get 
Least... Yeah, I got nut clip, okay. but then I like died to FRS, and it just kept getting worse uh... and worse until I got a 107. So yeah, yeah. I was like thinking if he gets nut clip, he's ahead now, but I guess uh, you messed up. Yeah, that was very unfortunate. There's still only a 27 second difference out of luncheon, I believe. But um, mm. we both yeah, didn't was, have the best Bowsers. It was pretty close at some points. It was like sweating balls. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. That's a, just like a lot of unfortunate things happen, make it get that bad of a run. But um, GG to both of you, or at least like finishing, I guess. Yeah, After both of those close. deaths, uh, yeah, and Luxor is both of those deaths in uh, Escape. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Yeah. Wait, okay. who am I first in now? Hey <laughs> there! Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Okay, well, um, GT, is there anything else you got, either of you guys would like to say? Nah, I'm good. That was fun. Uh, yeah. Hey, they're about to get popped. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, no, nothing. Well, good luck in the race against Hey there, and GG to both of you, and GG to Yori for winning. And uh, I think that's it. I think we end ending soon. Oh, wait, I have one more thing to say. Oh, what? Uh, thanks to you, Sean Hartman, for commentating this race. Yeah. No yeah, problem. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna commentating the one yesterday, but it got rescheduled. And there was—I don't think there's anybody commentating this this morning, but I was able to. Fortunately, I mean, maybe uh, otherwise there might not have been anyone. Yeah. yeah. So that's cool.